box has been removed and uh, the printer is inside. Firstly, please refer to the list, the packing list on the menu to check if everything is here on the top. There is a list on the menu, so please look into that list. And uh, here is the printer. You can take it out. So uh, just uh, open this door. And there is a door handle here. So we should install the door handle first. It's fairly easy. Just uh, the door handle and a screw. So we can just uh, do it like this. Yeah, normally we can just uh, finger tight the screw and uh, then it's good to go. Yep, that's it. So uh, it's like this. And uh, there are more things inside. Yes. So uh, we have some uh, uh, funnels here uh, to this is for the uh, filtration of the resin I mean uh, during late usage yep there are more description in the menu and uh, here is the resin vat and uh, here is the uh, build platform we should take out the uh, build plate and uh, we should uh, take out the resin vat as well because we have to install the build plate here on the holder. Oops. Yeah, just be careful. Uh, by the way, we have to check uh, to see if the 2K LCD screen uh, is good or not because sometimes might be got some cracks uh, because of the shaping. And now we should install the build plate onto the build plate holder, but we can see the uh, distance is uh, too small, so we should. Uh, rise the z-axis a little bit by the touch screen so now we should uh, power on this printer so just uh, plug the power in and uh, turn the machine on yeah please wait take some seconds to boot up and we can uh, move the z-axis from the touch screen Uh, one click at a time avoid any continuous click right I think it's good to go so we uh, already uh, rise up the uh, z-axis so now we can install the uh, build plate So uh, just uh, make sure it's uh, inserted all the way in and uh, we should uh, secure the red screw on the top. Right. So next step is uh, leveling. Before printing we have to level the build plate. Next I'm going to show how to do the leveling of the Anycube Photon. Okay, so now let's start uh, the leveling process. Before we do that, we have to prepare one piece of paper and uh, one allen key. Um, we should uh, insert the paper in between the uh, build platform and uh, the uh, LCD screen. And uh, we have also have to ensure the uh, build plate can be moved freely. So now we can do the leveling through the uh, touch screen. So now we click the tools, move the axis, and uh, we should click home first. So the build platform will decrease automatically till close to the 2K LCD screen. So now we should uh, pull the paper to see if there is any resistance. Um, so now we should decrease the build platform more. Uh, 
be careful uh, at this point we should click 0.1 millimeter per click because it is very close I remember click uh, once per time do not continuously clicking okay now I can feel a very good resistance which means the uh, height is okay so now we should use the allen key to tighten the build platform there is an inserted screw inside so we use one hand to press evenly on the build plate to let it fit on the 2k LCD screen and we just tighten it Use this end to further tighten it. Right, uh, it's very tight now, and we should return to the previous menu, and uh, we should click here Z equals zero, which means every print later will start from this point. Yes. Right, that's all. The leveling is finished. Okay, now let's check out the uh, menu. There are three options here. The first one is Tools. And here is the Move Z Axis. So we can click Home to home the Z Axis. Or we can move the Z Axis uh, by the up and down here. So we can choose uh, three options. Uh, 0.1 millimeter, 1 millimeter, and 10. Up, up, decrease, and decrease. Or we can use this uh, high speed mode. And we can click the emergency stop here if you think it's gonna hit the uh, LCD screen. Um, the second one is the UV detection option. So we can check out if the UV light inside is okay or not. So here we can uh, decrease or increase the exposure time. Or we can click inside to change it. Okay, and uh, we click next. Then this UV light will project onto the uh, LCD screen in a rectangular shape so return and uh, this one is uh, set z axis equals zero uh, this option will be used in the leveling process okay. uh, the second one is the uh, system so we can choose the language here and also there is uh, the option for the service information the official website and the uh, text for email. Here is the uh, system information, uh, the firmware version, and also the ID for this machine. By the way, we can turn on and off the beeping sound when clicking here. So return. The last one is the print option. So we click inside. We can see all the files if we have already plugged in uh, the USB memory. So we can choose the uh, files here. We can click this icon to print this file or we can delete this file. Return. Up and down option. Return. So that's all for the uh, menu. Click tools before it's printing, and now we should check the UV light. And we save the exposure time. Click next to see if the UV lamp is okay or not. There should be a rectangular shape projected onto the LCD screen. So now we install the USB memory, and 
uh, next we click into tools and move the axis to increase the z-axis height so to install the resin LED make sure the resin LED is installed properly and tighten the two red screws on the top Now we peel the resin into the resin bed. Please remember the resin has to be 405 nanometer UV resin. Now we return to the main menu and into print. Now we click the test print and hit start icon. Then this machine will automatically print. Upon finishing, please remove the build plate. And use the plastic wrapper to remove the printed model from the build plate. And we use the high concentration asino clean the resin residues on these printed objects. After cleaning, we can use the sunlight to further cure the resin or we can use the UV light to cure it to get better strength. If we don't use the printer for over 48 hours, or we wish to clean the resin bed. We should put the resin back into the container. Please use the funnel to do this to filtrate any residues in the resin bed. Now, to clean the resin bed, we can use the uh, tissue to do this. And please remember to wear gloves when handling resin. Now, as the build plate, we do the same. Okay, lastly, please remember to read the user manual carefully for any uh, usage tips and maintenance tips. And also, please remember uh, the Anycubic Photon only use 4 or 5 nanometer UV resin. So uh, you can buy the resin from uh, Anycubic official store. Um, so that's it. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.